classes um, can only access other classes um, or interfaces within the same package unless unless the class it's trying to access is declared as public and you declare it as public by putting um, public in front of the class definition like that now by access a class what it means is um, um, uh, declare a variable of that class type or um, or extend that class or um, return a variable of that class type that's what access means okay so now there's here's a couple of restrictions um, that apply now at this point we're getting close to um, close to the sort of boundary between what's part of the language and what's part of the host system so um, what I'm going to talk about now is um, is uh, the Java compiler um, on uh, Windows. Okay, so um, now there's one restriction here, which is that um, at most um, you can only have one public class per source file or compilation unit, if you like. And um, if there's a public class in the source file, and it doesn't have to be, but if there is, then the name of the file has to match the name of the class. Now, uh, these two restrictions only apply to the um, the Java compiler on a which operates on a file-based system. And now there are compilers which um, this restriction doesn't apply to, and uh, they may, for example, store the class file in a in a database for example and in that case it doesn't apply but um, since we're going to be talking about the Java compiler that uh, comes free then this applies to that and in fact it applies to quite quite a lot of compilers okay so here's an example um, I've got a package here um, com hack me widget server monitor and in the package there are two classes one of them is non-public and uh, one of them is a uh, public class called test. Now if all of this lot sits in one file and the file name is defined and it's got to be called test.java it's got to be that because the public class there is called test. Okay and um, the source file name that's this here has got to match the name of the public class there and you can only have one per source file of course you can have a lot of source files that go to make up this uh, package so that's not a problem right now when you compile it what you get is um, two classes two class files you get one which is called non-public.class and one which is called test.class corresponding to each of these classes here and if one of these was an interface instead you'd have um, if that was say interface non-public instead of class non-public you still have the same thing you'd have non-public.class because interfaces are really sort of count as classes. Now, um, if there's no public class in the source file, then you can call it anything you want. But if you do the compilation, you'll still end up with class files which are determined by the class names of the classes or interfaces inside the source. Now Sun uh, recommends that you only put one class per compilation unit, except perhaps if you've got a if you've got a little utility class which is being used by the main class in the compilation unit, well, then you might put it in if it's not used by anything else. But otherwise, you just put one class per compilation unit. That's what it recommends, and that's generally what people do. As I said, uh, there's a couple of restrictions here that don't necessarily apply if you're not using the Java compiler on a file based system. So that's just something to be aware of. <laughs>